Hey there everybody, welcome back to Largely Mediocre Gaming. You're back with the Anor Lonbro for our Dark Souls playthrough. Tragically, I'm no longer joined by Mock. He's um he's run back off home. So I'm gonna continue with this playthrough. Now if you recall we ended last time I was just about to fight the Taurus Demon. And I'm gonna show you the easier way of doing that. Because this fight can be very hard, but if you know what you're doing, it's really, really easy. So the first thing we're going to do, as I showed you last time... Oh, first of all, let's check out this blood stain, because he's going to be quite cool. What happened here? He ran, went up the ladder... And he fell off. I think the demon must have got him. Oh well, weird. So, first thing you've got to do, climb up the ladder... And you take out these two snipers. You might recall we did this at the end of last episode which for you is like yesterday but for me that's like a week ago now or something because <laughs> I was away um, so the next thing is I'm going to get ready um, my f I want my fire bombs equipped and I want to have equipped my gold pine resin because um, Taurus Demon is vulnerable to lightning this is going to make us do a stupid amount of bo uh, bonus damage um, that should be all really uh, we'll be fine um, I'm going to get that ready first thing, because it's going to be the first item that I need to use. So, you've taken out the snipers, climb back down. This is all nice and easy. So, he's going to drop down in a moment. First of all, sorry, praise the sun. I really love this view. This, this really is a gorgeous game. I mean, the graphics themselves and maybe not great but just the vistas and the enemy design and the level design is just so good and here we go the moment you see him drop down run back run away you don't want to be dealing with this crap climb straight up you need to have that head start otherwise he's going to catch up with you and kick your sorry ass so then gold pine resin And then drop attack, and this will do a lot of damage. Lock on, stand here. Get beneath his legs, and roll through when he attacks. And he will not hit you if you're right underneath his legs. And then, here we go, he's almost down. And there you go, Taurus Demon beaten. I think we took a couple of minor hits, but as you can see, nice and easy if you know how to do it. The honest way, obviously, is just to fight him on this bit, and then it's it's not too much harder. Again, just stand between his legs, roll between when he tries to swing, and he won't hit you. You can chuck fire bombs as well if you've got the black fire bombs; they'll do a lot of damage as well. It's only as hard as you make it, basically. That little fight, it doesn't need to be too tricky. Oh yeah, while I'm here, I'm just going to change my equipment a bit. I'm going to stick on the um, yellow soapstone, or orange rather. So I can leave and rate messages, which is always a nice thing to do. I did it, yay. Someone's first time maybe, praise the sun. I've got I've got to upgrade praise the sun. We're about to, we're about to join that covenant. Yeah, it's Dayman himself, it's Knight Solaire. Oh, this just awesome badass that I love. I'm, I'm going to be doing a. Um, I'm going to be joining his covenant, but later on I have to switch to save him because I I just have to save Knights today. I can't let him die. I can't let him go mental. He's too cool. He's too much of a nice guy. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> so you need to talk to him again, because Dark Souls. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Say yes. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? 
Why not help one another on this lonely journey? You say yes again. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. White sign soapstone, we'll use that in a moment. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> So yeah, we were about to join that same group and we we're gonna get a cool um a cool summon sign as well, like his. Before we do that I've just realised I should probably go back and level up, um, because very soon bad things are going to be occurring. Oh, here we go. Uh part of the game I truly detest. One forward, one back. There's our friend the Hellkite Drake. He is just wrecked everyone's shizzle. If you're on that bridge, that can kill you. Um, it doesn't necessarily. And for some reason, it seems to do more damage if you're blocking. Like, go figure. I have no clue why. So, we're going to sprint and hopefully make it before he does the fire attack again. This is just a matter of luck, almost. There we go. We're down. We're safe. So, walk down here, keep this ladder down, and here's your first real shortcut of the game. You're all the way back in the Undead Berg with this bonfire, which is why I kindled it earlier. You might look we'll call me in and I'm talking about that. So, I'm going to level up, and what was it I needed? I needed more decks and more strength to use my little, um, to use my wing spear. So I think I needed, was it like 14 in each or something? I know I need another strength. That seems right. Yeah, let me go check that now. Um, browse and use items. Wing spear. Oh, whoops. So it requires, yeah, 13 strength and 15 dex. And I currently have... 13 strength and 12 decks, so I just need 3 more levels. Um, I don't think it takes too many more to level up. A bit more. 775 to each level. Right, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go join the um, join the Warriors of Sunlight so I can get Praise of Sun, I'll get my Call Summon signature. I'll show you how to do that without having to kill the dragon. Um, I will be coming back to kill the dragon later I want you all to know that because I hate this rat bastard and he, he will die a slow and painful death. So one up, he'll kill everyone with fire again. One up again. And get into this corner. Where his fire can't hit you. And then just wait for a moment. He will eventually drop down because he realises he can't hurt you. At which point we're going to run past. That's the basic plan. Oh god, my heart is racing. I'm terrified. I hate this bastard so much. I mean, in my first playthrough, it took me so long to kill him. And he just one-shots you all the lo live long day, just again and again, like a rat bastard. Oh god. So hide here. Against this wall in this corner. He might shoot fire. It won't hurt you. Hopefully. It looks like it should. I mean, it comes like straight through the wall. You can go out and fight him, hand to hand. Later on, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back. We're going to have a mano a mano fight with this guy. But right now, I cannot be bothered. I will just keep dying. And I hate him enough as it is. So if you wait for a while, to eventually stop with this crap. It may take some time. I don't know if I have to move or anything. Switch 
switch corners, see if that does anything. Oh god, see what I mean? He's just... No, 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 no. Heal up. Heal up again. Oh. I really, really hate this guy. Oh god. Son of a... Get into the corner. Oh god. We might be stuck here. Um... He normally flies away, like, around now. Okay, I was right in front of him. And I'm dead. I really, really, really hate that son of a bitch. Let's try this again. Oh, God. Dark Souls, ladies and gentlemen. Even when you know... Or think you know what you're doing. You get one shotted by giant dragons in the like, lowest freaking level area. Come on, shoot your fire. You should run back here. Okay, there you go. Everyone's dead again. Um, I'll just talk about the lore a bit as well. So. Let's just mention Knight Solaire, our little friend we talked to back there, who gave me the Summon Soapstone. A lot of people reckon that he is the firstborn son of Lord Gwyn, who is the sort of main god deity. You saw him in the opening cutscene. And there's a number of reasons for that. He describes himself as an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. He says that he's come to find his own son. He describes the son as a magnificent father. And also there's things like his armour, when we receive it later, says that it has no special powers and that he must his power and skill must just be down to his own great strength. And a lot of people take that as evidence then, well, is he a demigod? Is he Lord Gwyn's son? Something of that nature. So uh, that dragon's gone, he'll flies away. We will deal with him later. But for now, he won't be here either. If I just run along this bridge, he won't bother us again for some time, I'm pretty sure. You have to come from right the other end to sort of trigger his respawn. So we've lit that bonfire, we might as well rest here. Why not? I've recovered as well. I can reverse my hollowing. It's probably a good idea, because I'm now I'm going to go... Oh crap, I need to get past these idiots. I didn't think of that. Oh dear. Oh dearie dearie me. This also acts as a shortcut. Um, it saves you going beneath the bridge. Um, you can now just go straight into the parish area up here. But first of all I'm going to go back and I'm going to A. Kill Havel and B. Leave my summon sign. See if I get any interest. Because I want to help people out. I've got my nice summon signature. Oh no I don't yet. I haven't prayed here. Right. This is how you join Warriors of Sunlight. I need to pray at this statue. Apparently. Oh, but I need more faith. Okay. Yeah, you need to have a certain amount of faith. Um, I want to say 20. Before this shrine will activate and you can join this covenant. I think you need to have like 20 faith. And that gets reduced if you've helped people kill bosses, is the nice thing. So, in theory, if I can get summoned and help some people out, I won't need to level up at all yet to join that covenant. I can just join it with however much faith I have now, which is like 15 or something. 14, there we go. So I think if I level up faith once, and then, and then kill um, a boss, that should do it. I think it does it like five every boss you kill or something. Um, first of all though, I'm going to get more... I'm going to get more dexterity because I want to be able to use my spear. Okay. And then we need to run past these guys and make it to... I'll oh, shortcut again. Uh, 
Oh god, let's just make it alive. The annoying thing is, once you've lost the dragon, you can't use this bit to farm for souls. You get something like 800 every time he kills everyone on the bridge for you, which is a lot at this level. I mean, that's like a level up every time almost, which is why I was able to do it so easily. But for now, um, let me leave my summon sign. I'll switch from... No, I'll leave humanity on. I'll switch out the firebomb. And let's try and get summoned. I don't hold out much hope for that happening. Because I'm an idiot and do things like that. Although you'll see already I've got a lot more damage having leveled up. I can now like two shot these idiots. So I'm going to leave my... Oh, I didn't manage to leave it. Okay, let's leave my summon sign. Let's heal up, because why not? Take some Sunny D. Um, and while I'm waiting, I think I'm going to go and try to kill Havel on my own. Now, I'm going to be doing this by parrying. I'll, sh I'll show you how to kill Havel the easy way, and I'll do it the quick way. That make that will make sense in a moment once I've killed him, hopefully. So let's kill these guys. We got quite lucky there, we didn't get the second axe guy at the same time. Let's kill him. I need to hopefully not get invaded as well. That would be nice. I'm tired of getting invaded. It's not the best feeling in the world. Those guys chucking firebombs are committed today. Okay, I'm getting a bit surrounded here. I don't like this. Oh, I'm being summoned. Oh, lovely. Here we go. If I can just uh, keep myself alive for more than 10 seconds. Here we go, let me just go to my Jester's menu and say hello. Went up. Yeah, okay, this could work. Um, I should probably heal, shouldn't I? Um, let me switch to... Oh, God, what my controls are going to hell? Yeah, okay, so let's heal. Switch back, and then... Is she summoning someone else, I guess? I guess so. I don't know what armor that is she's got on. Hmm. Is that is that hollow armor? I'm pretty sure that is. It's just hollow armor. Anyway. Okay, maybe she wants me to lead the way. Why not? Let's do that. And she's got on herself here. Oh yeah, I can't Estus. Annoyingly, she'll have to heal me. But she will. Thank you. Right. Um, let's go help kill this guy for her. I'm not going to take any chances. I'm not going to go for stupid parries when I can just like one shot them with counter hits. Let's go help her out. I don't know where she is. I get a lot of souls for doing this as well, in theory. I think every time either she kills someone, I get a fraction of the amount of souls we would normally get for killing them myself. And we'll, I'll get all the um, souls from if we kill a boss. I will get, yeah, I'll just, I'll just benefit quite a lot from this. There we go. Um, let's go take out the sniper up in this tower, who I don't think I've bothered showing you before. Unless, yeah, I'll go take out the sniper, she can go do that. Oh, she, oh, she's attacked from the other side. That's quite clever. I can come around the back and get in a sneaky. Oh dear, I've, I've been stupid there. Oh, 
I'm not doing this very well at all. She appears to be a Prime Minister, so I don't know what she's really doing. Um, I'll just heal up. Oh, we're going for the Black Knight. Okay, I think that's what's happening. So down here, I think I should probably do it in my own world at some point as well. Black Knight. She's going to let me get the backstab, I assume, then. I won't do much damage. It's a fair point. This is the good thing. Once you've got two people with a little mini boss like this, you can just sort of kite them with backstabs. And it makes it so much easier. Hopefully, she'll get ag aggro now. Yeah, and then I walk up and I get the backstab. And you can just bounce them forth like this, back and forth between you all the live long day. He can't do shit all about this. She gets aggro, and then I walk in, backstab again. This is also, hopefully, how you do Havel in an ideal world. It's That's what makes Havel so hard on your own, is that he's always going to be coming to kick your ass, and there's nothing you can really do. Let's give her a bow. I don't have any of the cool gestures yet. Get out of the way. Is she getting the ring? Yeah, she's getting the ring over there. I'll head forward. Wait for her up ahead. There isn't anything down here as such, I don't think. 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 Um, yeah, I'm really mispronouncing the word think for some reason when I've been casting. Oh, she's sending me home. That's kind of annoying. That's not what I wanted to happen. But oh well, okay, so that's our first summon. We've got our first boss under our under our belt. Oh god. And it drops me right back in the middle of this palaver. I'm gonna go back and leave my um sign again. Ow. Oh god, this is not going well. I'm gonna just okay, I'm just gonna use the bonfire. Yeah, whatever. Because I'd like to have full health and all my heals when I'm summoned, so that I'm not and uh, burdening the player with having to heal me. You know, on their behalf. Yeah, it's, oh, I don't think I have said you can't use your Estus Flask in another person's world. So your options for healing are. If you've got a healing miracle, use that. If you've got um, humanities, you can use them. And the and the owner uses their uh, Estus, that will heal you. But other than that, you can't heal on your own. I keep forgetting I do not yet have a shield that has full physical resistance. I may want to go and buy one. Oh no, I'm being summoned right now. Okay. Estus up. I'm getting pretty good summon. I don't normally at this level. So this is quite nice. Um, where's our host? He's over here somewhere, I guess. Oh, there we are. Wave. Let's give him a wave. Let's be nice. The only thing, yeah, the, it's nice being summoned in the Undead Berg. Um, you'll get summoned a lot. There's different things you can do. You can do Havel, Black Knight, or you can do Taurus. But because of that, you'll find you do not frequently get summoned for the purpose of fighting a boss. A lot of the time, people just be like, oh yeah, I'm just here to fight Havel or Taurus or whatever. Also, it's low level, so people don't always know what they're doing. Like this guy who appears not to.
Oh yeah, I should point out this sniper will almost always miss because you're coming like from below him and his he's not really like designed for hitting that. So if you walk forward here we can aggro one of them at a time, in theory. And we'll get our spearman friend. Who I'm gonna try and kill with a drop attack here. As so. Backstab him. Let's try and keep this guy alive. He doesn't seem to have much of a clue. He should probably heal. Is he going to? I don't know. He seems to be expecting me to do all this. And now we go. Like, yeah, I'm having to sort of save him a few times. Where does he want to go? Does he want to do Havel? What does he want to do? He seems not to do Havel. Okay, this is this is going to be fun. He doesn't know the way to Havel. <laughs> Looks like. Is he following? Yeah, he's coming. So, I'm going to... He doesn't seem to know much of what he's doing. So, I'm, I'm just going to have to hope Havel doesn't one-shot him. <sighs> Which is a very real risk, because Havel is a rat bastard. Don't fight him. What you... Yeah, okay, so he's one-shotted him. Uh, at least I'm still here. I get my Estus back. I get my heals back. And he'll see my sign again. And this time maybe he'll he'll have a better idea of what to do. This is Dark Souls. You know, you learn you learn from your deaths. Ideally. You don't always. But that's that should give you an idea of how dangerous it is to fight Hable the Rock. He can just one shot you. And I'm going to be going for parries. Which is a well and good idea, but um if you miss one, you die, is how that fight works. So this could take a good few tries. And I still don't have a shield of 100% physical defense. I've got enough to level up a few times as well, so I think I'm going to level up, get on my wing spear, get on my... get a heater shield from the um, merchant because I'm getting a bit sick of taking ship damage every time I block, so let's level up and we needed, was it 15 decks? I might as well get the other faith that I need for later and I'll save the rest of my souls to see if I've got enough of this heater shield this time I'll remember to kill this idiot before I leave my sign Oh yeah, I should point out, even if you don't parry, just blocking with your shield, you get counter hits if you're fast enough. Which is why I'm one-shotting them if I get a hit off after I block. Just wanted to explain that. So let's kill this guy the easy way, hopefully this time. Hold on. I missed, I misclicked there and targeted the wrong guy, but it all worked out. We're fine. And he's down. There we go. So you see, already it gets a bit easier. You know, Dark Souls isn't so scary. You've leveled up a bit, you know what you're doing, you know where the enemies are. And things suddenly aren't quite so bad. So, how much do I need for this heater shield from my oh, friend here? Oh, there you are. Still keeping your marbles. Then go ahead. Never hurts. <laughs> if you talk, let's see what he says. Things are getting treacherous in these parts. A horrible goat demon has moved in below. 
And up above, there's that humongous drake and a bull demon too. If you stick around this place, it might end up being your grave. So there you go, he gives you sort of hints as to the bosses that are coming up. Which I think is quite cool. I mean, you don't notice these things the first time around, or you might not, you might not pay attention and you just think, oh yeah, what's he talking about? But, you know, it's quite um, interesting. Thank you kindly. <laughs> okay, um, we've got... Uh, so let's change our equipment. We've got a better shield now, heater. And that should do for now, I think. Yeah. Oh, and I think we can use the wing spear now. So, I haven't used this weapon before. Um, and a big part of Dark Souls is getting used to the sort of feel and abilities of your weapon. So, what have we got? We've got normal attack, which is thrusting. With spears, you can actually um, have your shield up and still attack. Which is quite cool. It takes a bit more stamina. And it does a bit less damage, but it's a useful ability. That's our step back attack. Our rolling attack is this. Oh, that's nice, a little overhead. And our strong attack is that. If I two hand it, we've got a nice thrust. A bigger thrust. Our rolling attack is this. Which is sort of upward strike. And a nice strong leap. And then our leaping attack. If I can pull it off on the terrible keyboard and mouse controls. Which I probably can't. Oh, God. Is like that. Okay, so there's the attacks. I'll try and get used to them as we go along. And already we're getting a lot more powerful. We're getting a, a nice build set up. I'm going to be using this weapon basically most of the game and um, just upgrading it as I go along. Oh, I was certain I had the parry off there. That's irritating. There we go. Right, this time, unless I get summoned, I will do Havel God damage. And, yeah, don't heal on the bridge like an idiot, like me. He won't end well for you, or anyone else involved. Get into safe place, and then you can heal up to your heart's content. There we go. And what has he dropped? Armor, terrible armor. Why did I? Oh, why did I pick it up? Someone tell me in the comments why why I'm an idiot and picked up that useless drop from the enemy I know had nothing better. Okay, let's just aggro this one guy. It seems. I think we're going to do a running attack actually. Oh, I think that went pretty well. There we go. So yeah, I should mention you can use a weapon of two hands and you do more damage. Um, I think it, it calculates that by increasing your strength 50% if you're two-handing. Which means you can also use weapons that you don't technically have enough strength to use by using the two-handed attack. By uh, using it two-handed, yeah. Which is a nice little feature. It's, that's really annoying. He somehow blocked my falling attack. In fact, before I do Havel, you know what, I'll show you how to kill the Black Knight on your own. Um, because why not? Oh, come back here, you rat bastard. There we go. Right, so if you're fighting the Black Knight on your own, first things first, get down to about the bottom of the stairs. At this point, start walking. Walk to this side, because you want to be right on his back. And I didn't get, I didn't get the backstab off. Okay. Ideally you want to do the backstab, which I showed you earlier. But right, now you've got him, you've got his attention. Don't want to fight him in this narrow area. You can't dodge, you can't get out of his way, he's just going to kill you. So, pull him up here. 
all the way up to the top of the steps. He's not going to catch you. He doesn't do any like fancy running attacks or anything. And you can, even at this level, you can block him. So just keep pulling him up. And this is where you want to fight him, up in here. Because you've got this fairly flat, wide open area. You can take him on here. Safely, pretty much. As we go to the actual fight, you basically want to wait for him to do a stab attack like that and then get behind him and try and get a backstab. I'm not managing to for some reason. I think it's because I had my shield up, so it was registering it, reg registering it as that attack, which isn't what I want to do at all. Or you can just parry them. As so, that does a lot of damage. As always, parrying's risky. Try it at your own. You know, you you know how well you can parry, better than I do. And he can break your shield if you let him do that. I was trying for the parry there, it didn't really work out. I don't want to get one shotted by him, so I'm going to roll away and maybe heal. We'll see. Oh, there you go. Got him. I just heal up. And there we go. He's down. We get... Oh! I've lucked out and got his sword, which is quite a good weapon. I mean, that took me through most of my first playthrough. The Black Knight sword. And you get a Titanite chunk when you kill him, guaranteed. Which you'll use for upgrading in just a moment. So that went pretty well. Um, I think we only used one Estus, maybe. I wasn't really paying attention. Once you've killed him, go down here. Back to where he was. He's keeping guard over this little ring. Blue tier stone ring. Basically, when you get below a certain percentage of health, 10-20%, something like that, it increases your defence. Not the best ring, um, I've got no real use for it. I don't have any others at the moment, now that I think of it though, so I might as well have that equipped. Because it's quite helpful, in theory. The one that more people use is there's one called the red tier stone ring, which increases your attack when you're on low health. And people deliberately reduce their own health and then use it to do this massive damage, say in a PvP, something like that. Whereas blue tier stone's a bit more just survivability and because you might as well have a ring. Okay. Looks like we're going to be doing Havel all on our lonesome. I'm still human, weirdly enough. I thought I died. I was pretty sure I had. Oh well. I should probably have leveled up. Um, I'm already level 11 though and I don't want to get much higher than that because then not everyone will be able to summon me in which ideally I want everyone to be able to summon me. So, wait on the stairs, roll away, he'll fall down as well. Now, keep out of his way then, get in close. Get in close and just keep strafing. And then backstab. This is the easy way of doing it, like that. You get in close, keep strafing, he won't break your shield, he won't hit you. Maybe roll out of the way if you feel like you're not certain what's going on. And just keep strafing. Backstab. This takes a long time. What I might do is put my lightning, my gold pine resin on. If I can get him away long enough to pull that off. He also does a, he tracks you a lot with those swings. He's not just going to miss like most bosses. He is liable to hit you quite easily. So this is the easy way of doing it. And then... That's the risk. Is that if he glitches out a bit, if he bugs out... He'll go the other way and then swing straight onto you. And there's no dodging it. And it one hits you. That's the risk you take fighting Havel. Annoyingly. There's not much I can do there. Which is why I'm going to show you the other way of doing it which is to parry him which is also risky really really risky 
Really, you're not meant to fight him yet. I should put that out there. You are not meant to have access to him at this level because you've, I've only I've only been able to by using the master key. But you can, and doing so gets you a lot of souls for leveling or buying or what have you. And he has a really, really helpful ring. Oh, God damn it! just died. Lost patient. So we're gonna go fight him. And this time I will do it. I might just run past everyone. I don't oh no, because then they'll follow me. Yeah, that's a bad idea. I'm I'll shut up now. Let's just run this way. Here, there we go, that's quite nice. Backstab again. <laughs> Let's go for the big triple. Backstab again, yay. Right. Now if I run here, I think I can get this guy with a leaping attack. This is probably a very bad idea. This is not a clever thing to do. The good thing about Spear is that, as you can see, I can outrange the Hollows because it has a long range on it. So I can be further away than they can hit and still get my little knocks in. And it does a decent amount of damage. Uh, it's quite a fast weapon. So, you know, there's a lot of good things. Right, so this time I'm going to use my gold pine resin before I aggro him. So that I don't derp around trying to do it in the middle of the fight and get killed. And then I'm going to run down and we're going to fight Table the Rock. The Bishop of the Way of White. Wielder of a stupid overcompensating hammer. That looks just ridiculous. Oh, and he won't let me recover, son of a bitch. Right, so this is this is the parrying way. Just stand in front of him. Sooner or later he's going to swing, and we're going to parry. This scares the almighty hell out of me every time I do it. <laughs> oh god, you cannot imagine how, how scared I am. It's an easy enough par parry to get off. I think it's it's not um, the most punishing window. But boy, is it scary. Oh god. Got cocky. <sighs> Got cocky. And that's what happens when you get cocky in fast. And fire souls? Dark souls. If this starts going into a too many tries, you know what I'll do is I'll I'll stitch together a montage of just each death scene of me just getting one shotted and then the one successful run that eventually happens is what I'll do and have like a little count or something for your amusement. I like that plan. So right, let's get our fire bombs ready. You can also fight him up here, I should probably mention. That doesn't seem to be doing much. I feel like. How much is that doing? 12? Yeah, so maybe not. Okay, let's just get our Estus ready. And sad. 
I don't have I don't think the pine resin was really helping much at any rate, so. So you just gotta stand here and do it as best as you can. It's not too hard of a timing to get down. It doesn't vary too much. So it's just about can you hold your nerve? You want to do it roughly. It's hard to give hints for these things, you have to get a feel for it, but roughly when he sort of transitions, if you see there, he holds it behind him and then he sort of switches forward a bit. That's roughly when you want to start your parry off to get him. And if he glitches out and turns around, get the fuck away because he's going to screw up and just murk you. Roll away and then get in close. Yeah, like that. You don't want to be there when he does that. Don't let him get backed up against the wall either. Because again, that makes him more liable to glitch out. I'm sorry, this is probably a bit boring just watching me parry him over and over. But I am tense as hell, you can't even imagine. Heart's racing. When he does that one, get out of the way. When he takes his step back, just dodge it. Don't try and parry that. There's no need to be a hero. I'm not sure you even can parry that massive one, to be perfectly honest. Bear in mind as well, it's generally better to parry later rather than earlier. If you're a bit later, you just won't parry at all and you'll just take the hit whatever or you might just partially parry if you're too early that's it you're dead that's the difference so if in doubt take your time don't be in a rush don't try and predict him too much you're responding to it not trying to predict the attack he's glitched out a bit I'll just back away Only one more now. One or, one or two more, I think. Now I should do it. I don't know why I'm trying to get attacks in. No need. No need. We should do it. I think that's table down for the count. Yeah, we go. <sighs> We've beaten Havel the Rock. 3,000 souls and Havel's ring. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so happy. That was really tense, really exciting.